Hey, I'm Mike Backrell, and today we're going to take a look at some really wide interval fifth based arpeggios used by guys like Jonathan Kreisberg, Wampi Juarez, and Reza Bassi. Let's take a look. <laughs> Now the first thing we'll notice is these aren't regular arpeggios built in thirds like we usually do, like major and minor triads and seventh chords are built in thirds. These are not that. These also aren't purely built in fifths. Uh, this is more of like a, almost like a geometrical shape on the guitar that we're just moving around. And so our interval pattern is a fifth, a fifth, a second, a fourth, and a fifth. And it gives us the shape. And this is mostly like a guitar based pattern in a sense, because we're taking this shape of intervals we have down here, and then we're just doing the next three strings. Even though it doesn't transfer to exactly the same intervals, we're using the shape more than anything. So we're gonna outline this in the key of F major. So we're gonna start here on F on the first fret of the sixth string. And we're gonna go up to C, which is a fifth away on the third fret of the fifth string. And you can see I'm using my second finger here. Now our next note, is gonna be a G, a fifth away from C. And that's gonna be on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Our next note's A, which is a second away, and it's gonna be on the second fret of the fourth string. Then we're gonna to go to D, which is a fourth away on the third fret of the second string. And our last note's a fifth away on A, on the fifth fret of the first string. So there's our full shape. If we look at the intervals we have contained, we do have a chord here. We have a root, a fifth, a second, a third, a sixth, and another third here. So we have one, three, five, six, and then a ninth on top, or a second. That gives us like a major six, nine kind of sound. It's also the notes of an F major pentatonic scale broken up. Now let's take the same exact interval pattern and move it through the scale. So we'll still go up to G. Go up a fifth to D, and then A, a fifth away, and then a second away. In this case, will be a half step. It'll be B flat, and then a fourth to E, and then a diatonic fifth away, which will give us a B flat on top, which is a tritone, right? You can see the fingering changes a little bit. I'm using same fingering for the bottom three notes, but then here I go to first finger, third finger, pinky. Go to the next note, go to A here. Go up a fifth to E, a diatonic fifth to B flat, a second to C, a fourth to F, and a fifth to C. And again, I have one, three, four, one, two, four here. Then we're gonna go up to B flat, and this will be the same exact shape we had for the F. Go up to C, same shape. Then we'll go up to D. D, a fifth away is A, another fifth is E, and then a second will be F, and then a fourth will be B flat, and then a fifth away will be F again. So again, our fingering is one, two, four on the bottom, and then one, two, four on the top. Now we go up to E, we have a diatonic fifth here, to B flat, another fifth to F, a second to G, a fourth to C, and a fifth to G. And this finger is one, two, four, one, two, four. And then we land up back where we started. So here's our whole scale. When it comes to picking, I go about this two different ways. I'll mostly alternate pick.
but I could also sweet pick it. Sweet picking a line like this isn't like the typical Yngwie Malmsteen kind of shape, where there's a really clear place to change your up and down strokes. This one's a little more ambiguous because it's one note per string, and there's no situation where there's two notes where you can change directions. So the way I'll do this is I'll go down, all the way down, and then I'll switch up on the way back down. So down, 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 up, 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 and then I would switch to down again. Down, down, and so forth. Now that we have the shapes, let's take a look at some ways we can kind of play through these. Now, one thing I like to do is just obviously just go up and down them a bunch. And that's a really good picking exercise. And we could also reverse the order. But what if we broke it up a little bit? So I'm going 6th string, 4th string, 5th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 2nd string, 3rd string, 1st string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 4th string, 3rd string, 5th string, 4th string, 6th string. And I'll do that a lot of times in like a triplet pattern. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a... And then picking wise for that, you could alternate pick it. But typically I will use my middle finger to kind of do a hybrid approach. This is a really cool arpeggio approach because it's it's super wide interval, it's super modern sounding. It's a definitely an interesting way to kind of break up the monotony of a usual scale and arpeggio based runs because it's so wide it's so big let me know if you if you enjoy taking a look at it, concepts like this maybe i could do another lesson in the future where i take this concept and apply it to two fives to show practical usage of this today we only looked at major you could also take a look at melodic minor and harmonic minor and all the other scales you know and break it up in a similar fashion so if you enjoyed taking a look at this keep practicing i'll see you next time